Rachel Ong Shu Ying is an ethnomusicologist and music educator with a master's degree in ethnomusicology from the University of Malaya, Malaysia. Her MA thesis details the musical culture of a minority ethnic group, Peranakan Chinese and Malacca, concerning the construction of their ethnic identity in Malaysia's pluralistic society. She has worked in the School of Arts, Sunway University, Malaysia as an arts project manager and lecturer. Before that, she was employed as a research assistant at the Department of Southeast Asian Studies, University of Malaya, and has worked with the leading Malaysian cultural organization, Pusaka. Her other research interests include ethnomusicological issues concerning gender, political, and religious aspects. Currently, Rachel Ong serves as the vice chair of the ICTM study group on music, gender, and sexuality. She intends to begin her PhD studies in ethnomusicology in 2022. Apart from academic work, she teaches piano in her private studio. Let us now hear from Ms. Rachel Ong Shu Ying. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Rachel Ong, and my paper today is titled Down Memory Lane, Situating Peranakan Identity Through Peranakan Song in Malacca. <laughs> This paper is part of a larger research that looks at the musical culture of the Peranakan in Malacca, Malaysia. Focusing on Persatuan Peranakan China Malacca, Peranakan Chinese Association of Malacca, which is the public face for Peranakan in Malacca, I discuss how Peranakan song generates community solidarity amongst the Peranakan in Malacca and creates a space to articulate their social difference in a pluralistic state of Malaysia. In analyzing the Peranakan song, I draw from the Nusantara sentiment of nostalgia, rindu, in the English word as longing, and posit that the music making, singing, dancing, and performing, and listening of Peranakan song produces a musical experience that offers an immediate experience of collective identity for the community today. I provide um, a discussion on how the Peranakan contest their identity through public and state sanctions performances of the Peranakan song, implicitly critiquing national narratives for revealing the undercurrents of national boundaries. This research is based in Malacca. And this is where Malacca is on the map. The Peranakan is a culturally hybrid minority ethnic group tracing back to the 17th century. They are descended from the union of early South China traders of Hokkien origins and local women. The Peranakan culture flourished during the British colonial period in um, in Malaya, in the cosmopolitan port cities of Penang, Malacca, and Singapore, collectively known as the Strait Settlement. The Peranakan enjoyed socio-political and, and economic privileges associated with the British colonial government and became an elite and influential class of wealthy businessmen in the early 20th century. This period became known as the Golden Age of Peranakan. While they adopted an anglophilic lifestyle such as hosting dinner parties, playing in musical bands and dressing in tuxedos, the Peranakan maintained Chinese customs and worldview and also incorporated Malay influences in their cuisine and outfit. They distinguished themselves from the new wave of Chinese immigrants, which they referred to as Sinke, a Hokkien term for the new guests, and referred to themselves as British subjects. The Straits Chinese British Association, which is presently the Persatong Peranakan China Malacca, the focus of the study, was formed in 1901 um, to safeguard the interests of the Peranakan and as a rep representative body to the British Crown and to promote loyalty as empire subjects. However, the turbulent period resulting from the Japanese occupation and followed by the decolonization from the British colonial government saw the decline of the political influence and privileges of the Peranakan. After the independence of Malaya in 1957, the Peranakans were racially categorized as Chinese under the new nation building policies. There was no legal definition or official recognition of the Peranakan as an ethnic category by the government. This displacement led to the disinterest in the continuity of Peranakan heritage as it was deemed backward and anachronistic in the face of nation building. Since the revival of interest in Peranakan heritage in the 1980s, the community has been nostalgically looking back to its past 
to the golden age for references of how to perform its culture. Sarkisian noted that in order to claim a place in the modern Malaysian multicultural family, Pranaka now have to appear distinct, exotic and part of a nostalgic past and that all signs take on new meanings as they are juxtaposed and even staged in postmodern ways that tell quite different stories. Stories that depend as much on the generation of the performers and, I'm sorry, as his or her own life experience. This is evident in the singing and performance of the Puranakan song. In the rest of the presentation, I show that the sentiments of nostalgia through the Nusantara sentiments of Rindu permeates and is also used as a tool to present Puranakan identity in the Puranakan song. I then offer a discussion about how the performance of Pranakan songs speaks to the undercurrents of national boundaries or implicitly challenging national narratives. The word nostalgia traces its roots to two Greek words of nostos, meaning return home, and algia, meaning longing. In a seminal work on nostalgia, Boim stated that nostalgia is the longing for a home that no longer exists or has never existed. Nostalgia is a sentiment of loss and displacement, but it, but it is also a romance with one's own fantasy. She proposed two overlapping understandings of nostalgia's tendencies, which are restorative nostalgia that centers on reproducing the past and reflective nostalgia, which strives to unveil the contradictions of the present. In analyzing Pranakan's song, Rindu, the Nusantara expression of nostalgia can offer another understanding of nostalgia in addition to Boim's. Rindu is a Malay word with shared lexical meaning by Malaysian and Indonesian and has various meanings of longing. The official Malaysian dictionary, Kamus Dewan dan Pusaka, and the official dictionary of the Indonesian language, Kamus Besar Bahasa Indonesia, offer two similar meanings of Rindu, which can be summarized as a strong feeling and desire to return home or to meet with someone. Godard, in his study of social emotions of Bahasa Melayu, suggested a further component that captures the somewhat reflective, yearning quality of Rindu, because along with Rindu comes memories of good times had together. Translating into the Pranakan case, Pranakan song therefore draws on this sentiment of nostalgia into the formation of the repertoire which is built on a sense of loss and displacement the community faced after the independence of Malaya. This longing to return home is situated in a bygone era, while they rindu of the days when they inhabit a non-marginal space. So what is Puranakan song? What is referred to as Puranakan songs are songs that the Puranakan regularly sing in their sing-along sessions, dance and perform when they are at Puranakan events and non-Puranakan events. Starting as a weekly sing-along activity in the early 1990s, Puranakan song expanded into an ever-growing repertoire that incorporates regional and global popular music. Reflecting the musical tastes of the community, the majority of the songs are a repertory of American and British popular hits from the early to mid 20th century, Scout Campfire songs, Malay folk and Kronchong songs, top Chinese hits in Mandarin, Hokkien and Cantonese from the 1970s to 1980s, and a few others in the languages of Thai, Hindi, Tamil, Tagalog and Japanese. As shown in several studies by Margaret Sarkisian and Tang Sui Bing, Pranaka negotiated multiple identities in the past and was involved in eclectic musical bands such as Kronchong, Dondang Sayang, Ronggeng, Minstrel Music and Bangsawan, which is Malay or Prop, that combined Malay, Chinese and European elements. Musical performance and social dancing are key markers of Pranaka lifestyle. Sarkisian demonstrated, although surface features may have changed, the underlying musical eclecticism remains intact today. This is evident in the music making, the singing, dancing, and performing of Pranakan song. I will now show you a video. <laughs>
So the video excerpt is an example of PPCM's choir group Banya singing a medley of songs from Malay folk song Suri Ram to Hokkien song Ai Pia Tia e ya, and Enjoy Yourself. The full performance lasted for 10 minutes with other songs such as Anika Gondo's O Malaysia, Perry Como's Round Round, Guy Mitchell's Sipping Soda, Skulk's associated song The Happy Wanderer, You Are My Sunshine and American folk song O Susanna. So on the left side here um, uh, is an example of a songbook content page showing song titles from the late 19th century, such as After the Ball, uh, I point, there's a red arrow pointed there, and the Indonesian Kuronchong song, Pengawan Solo, and regional folk Malay songs such as Burung Kakak Tua and Chan Malichan. As you can also see, the categorization of songs into waltz, cha-cha, and rumba correspond with Peranakan's love for ballroom dancing during social events. And here I will play a video for you. Next, another form of social dancing enjoyed by the Pranakan today is line dancing. And one favorite song likened to an anthem is Aki Breaky Heart. <laughs> So as you can see, the dance floor is full. Um, here, in um, before I show you the video, um, the, the addition, the tune borrowing of favorite and familiar songs and setting new song texts in Baba Malay became a new way of expression for the Pranakan in PPCM. These new songs were also added to the Pranakan song repertoire. So Baba Malay is a pidgin uh, it is predominantly a Malay dialect infused with Hokkien Chinese. Uh, the Baba Malay is spoken now mainly in uh, among the older, older generation. The younger generation does not do not really speak the language anymore, um, and that is a whole different discussion. So back to this um, this song. It's called Hello Hello. It's given a new title and written with a new lyrics in Baba Malay, sang to the borrowed popular 1960 Indonesian tune of uh, O Papa Ja. As described by the community members in PPCM, the songs in Pranakan repertoire bring back memories of their youth and are often accompanied by stories of how, with whom, and where these songs were sung. Some of the songs are passed down from their parents' generation. This sense of nostalgia, encapsulated in the word rindu, reveals what Godard suggested as a yearning to the good times shared with loved ones and other community members evident in the enjoyment of singing and performing of Pranakan song. I borrow Freef's argument on how popular music creates and constructs a musical experience that produces the listeners instead of reflecting them. The experience of popular music is an experience of identity because as we respond to a song, we are drawn into emotional alliances with the performers and with the performers are the fans, which in this case are the Pranakans. As music offers a simultaneous projection and dissolving in the enactment of musical fellowship, thus the music making, singing, dancing, performing and listening to Pranakan song produces a musical experience that offers an immediate experience of collective identity for the community today. This is done through an aesthetic judgment of shared musical taste. Pranakan song repertoire is no doubt shaped and influenced by the aging community where majority of the members traces the period of their youth 
um, to the 1960s and, and to the 1970s. Um, the, gener the younger generation have other ways of expressing the culture. They are more focused on um, material culture and also on food. And that's another discussion as well. But um, back to this, more profoundly, the repertoire speaks to the fluid and past cosmopolitan musical practices, revealing shared affinities and interconnectedness of the region. The wide range of songs in the repertoire also shows the inclusivity of Peranakan as an ethnic group, and this is conveyed in the activities in PPCM too. However, such a narrative is avoided in public discourses as it contradicts the national narratives centered on ethnopolitics in tandem with the increased politicization of race and religion in the country. Being the public face for Peranakan in Malacca, the PPCM group were often invited to perform at state sanctioned and tourism events. Dressed in the sarong kebaya as what you've seen in the video, um, what the women wear, wore, and the baju china, the Chinese shirt or sometimes batik, what the men wore, um, the community is painted as performing traditional material and portrayed as exclusively Peranakan. Directed towards outsiders, tourists uh, or visiting dignitaries and or businessmen, this generates recognition for minority groups such as Peranakan, creating a space to articulate their social difference in Malaysia. These state-sanctioned public performances then become stolen opportunities for the Peranakan to display ethnic diversity, which in turn implicitly critiques national government policies on national culture. Retrospectively, their musical taste also makes them present-day custodians of past popular songs in the form of Peranakan song. As I reflect uh, on my few work uh, I've done in the past, many Peranakans told me that there is no such thing as Peranakan song and that Peranakan heritage is archaic and disappearing. This proved to be contradicting to their musical activities in PPCM. Through their feeling of rindu, for the good times and the good old days, they gather for sing-along sessions, form the Banya choir group, organize dinner parties, dinner and dance parties, uh, performing a repertory of songs. The vast repertoire is evident in the A4 lyric sheets bound in a huge file and expands when community members bring their favorite song to add to the collection. The performance of Pranakan song has seen be since become an acceptable social activity and also as a means of generating community solidarity. The music making of Pranakan song is now shared by other Pranakan communities in Penang and Singapore with some respective differences. And as you can see on the right side, um, this is an album cover. Of course, um, it is not for sale, it's only for distribution among community members. And it's a recording of songs um, sang by the choir group or the choral singing group from PPCM. As you can see, Persatuan Peranakan China, and also from the Peranakan Association of Singapore, and also from Penang. And the last one, Gunung Sayang, is also from Singapore. So for the case of Malacca, Peranakan song offers an immediate experience of collective identity for the community today through musical experience. And with that, I end my presentation. Thank you for listening, and I look forward to your questions and discussion in the panel session. Thank you.